Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. All right. Thank you, Mr. Producer. As you see, I am joined by this young lady, Nancy Javaris. Now, Nancy um, is the owner of Nancy's Nutrition, Inc., and that's in Boston, Massachusetts. Welcome to the show. Welcome back, I should say. Nancy, always love having you on. Thank you so much, Casey. Thanks for having me. Well, now you're an a integrative, um, integrative, excuse me, integrative health and uh health and weight loss coach, and you're also a specialist in digestion. You've told us everything about our gut, and I've learned so much about leaky gut and all that. Um, You're also a detox and weight loss um, expert. You're a Reiki practitioner, corporate wellness speaker, and uh, a certified golden light healer. Can um, can you, yeah, if you don't mind, can you break those down a little bit and then tell me a little bit about Nancy's Nutrition Inc.? Oh, sure. Well, first, I'm an integrative nutrition health coach, so I help people with their gut and the healing their body. And then I'm also a Reiki practitioner. So Reiki is energy work. I don't know if you're familiar with energy work. Mm-hmm. It's the energetic energy of the body because we have trillions of cells. Yes, but how does point A get to point B? It's through energy. And that can be affected through the emotional body and traumas and emotional health. And then I'm, I just became this past week a golden light healer. So I'm very excited about that. So That's it's awesome. sharing it's sharing love light energy. So it's all about the love light energy. And it's incredible. It's very powerful. I had an amazing um, journey myself this past week and now I'm certified in it. So I can help other people and help my clients. So I'm very excited about it. Congratulations. That's awesome, Nancy. I mean, if there's anybody that uh, that should get that award, it's you. I mean, uh, you are helping so many people in this liver detox program you got. I'm learning so much every single time. I pick up so much from you. So it's really awesome. I learn all day about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, tell me a little bit about Nancy's Nutrition, Inc., and then uh, let's get into it. Well, I help people with their um, bodies. I help them to heal, whether it's physical or emotional or both. And so I have several different programs that I offer that are online, so I can help people all over the country, actually, and beyond. So I have a six-month liver, a six-month program to help people and guide them on their personal healing journey to heal their gut, heal digestion, elimination, immune health, whatever it is. And that's a six-month program where I'm health coach coaching them. That's individual health coaching one-on-one. So it's really, really, really dig deep into their health concerns. So that's great. And then I have a one-month um, program for health coaching for those people that just want to jumpstart and a roadmap to healing, and then they want to kind of have guidance for a month and then do it themselves and then i have a skinny bride program for all those brides that are getting married and they want to look beautiful on their wedding day and lose five or ten pounds it's a jump start to get off the junk food and help them eat healthy and then i also have a heavy metal detox program because heavy metals are all over the place and so many people have heavy metal toxicity they're tired all the time and they have all these issues and they don't know why so it's usually heavy metal, heavy metal toxicity. So I help with that on a program that's a seven week program. And then I have a root cause consult, which is a 90 day consult with the person where I go deep into absolutely everything affecting their lives from the time they were born right through to present day. Wow. I go deep in every single aspect of their life, stress levels, traumas they've had, what kind of food they've eaten their whole life, what they grew up with, what was their life growing up? Did they have traumas growing up with their childhood? And then I help them and give them a roadmap and they do it themselves. Or if they want to work with me as a health coach, I can do that too. But my pride and joy is my liver detox program. It's a one week program. I only made it seven days. I was tempted to make it 30, but I wanted everybody to be able to do it. So anybody can do anything for seven days. So it's all the the, um, ways to detox the liver. I include 25 short videos all about the liver, leaky gut, elimination, gallbladder health, kidney health. I mean, I get into everything, emotional health and tips on everything, how to how to detox, but also how to live a healthy lifestyle for life and help, you know, you do it for seven days, but then you can continue doing those for life. So. So gotcha. that's my boy. That's, that's awesome. That. Now, Nancy, tell people how to get a hold of you, first of all. And then I got my first question. I want to talk about some of the health concerns that you address in your practice, which you touched on a little bit there, but that's going to be my first question. But before that, can you tell us how do we get a hold of Nancy Javaris? 
Yes, please call me at 508-527-4149. Again, that's 508-527-4149. And you can talk to me for five to 10 minutes for free and we can go over and see if I could be a good guide for you on, on healing your body. And then also you can check out my website at healthandweightlosscoach.com. That's healthandweightlosscoach.com. And check out my programs and especially check out my liver detox program. No doubt. <laughs> and I got a little secret. Yes, she can help. Uh, she's, uh, she's at the top of her game and this is what she does awesome. So let me ask you now, Nancy, tell me a little bit more about the health concerns that you address in your practice. Yeah, so anything to do with digestion, you know, like bloating, constipation, elimination, uh, heartburn, any issues with digestion whatsoever. Also, IBS, um, which is irritable bowel syndrome, diverticulitis, ulcerative colitis, um, anything to do with the colon whatsoever. I'm definitely a colon specialist because I'm a survivor of ulcerative colitis. I've had it for 19 years. So yeah. um, also hypothyroidism, adrenal fatigue, or just general fatigue where people are tired all the time and they can't figure out why. Um, hypothyroid is a big one. I have a lot of clients that have that. Um, really anything to do with their immune system too and healing. So any autoimmune diseases I help people with. So really anything to do with the GI tract, leaky gut, elimination, and immune system. So gotcha. Thank you. Yeah. The plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> the plumbing, I got you. Now well, we, we we talked about your different uh coaching uh, programs. Um is there anything more that you want to say about that? Because I want to get into the, the liver detox. Uh, I want to talk about that, if that's all right with you. No, yeah. Let's talk about the liver detox. Sure. That's oh, great. Okay. okay. So so let's talk about um, what are some substance, substances out there that are linked to liver damage? Everybody knows like alcohol, I think, right? Exactly. Everybody on the planet knows alcohol isn't good for your liver and creates liver damage severely. But there's so many other toxins, too, that people don't realize. One of them is sugar. People oh. don't realize that you have sugar overload of people, hit, not you, but anybody out there, if you have, you have too much sugar in your diet, it creates toxicity in the liver because it's too much to intake. Also, artificial sweeteners, people really? don't realize, very toxic to the liver. I've had clients that have helped that have had, they said, oh, I don't eat any sugar. I'm so good. I have diet soda all day. I have 10 diet sodas all day. I'm thinking, oh my goodness. This is <laughs> <laughs> and so I need to educate them on, okay, that's just as bad, if not worse. So when you think about it, your body only needs one teaspoon of sugar to operate all your function, your whole body. But the average person gets 30 to 50 grams of sugar per day. If wow. Well, if you eat anything out of a package, it's going to have sugar, you know, mm -hmm. so it's a big factor. Also, everybody knows tobacco smoke is very bad. They know it's bad for the lungs, but they don't realize it's also bad for the liver. And then silver dental fillings, silver amalgam fillings are very bad for the liver because it actually leaks out. Silver amalgam fillings are 50 percent mercury. Oh, and man. so people are chewing, they're actually activating that vapor of mercury in their brain and it's going to their liver too so prescription medications i mean i play a lot of tennis casey so i play with a lot of friends that live on on you know painkillers and aleve and all, all kinds of different things to get through their game but there's other different ways to do it so prescription medications of any kind birth control you know even antibiotics can be damaging to the liver if you're on them for a long time pain relievers like Aleve, you know, Motrin, all those. Plastic, everybody knows plastic isn't good for you, but there's more than just BPA plastic. There are other plastics too. So just getting BPA free is not good enough. You need to go an extra step and use glass containers for water, et cetera. And so if then, I'm, if, and if, then, Nancy, if I'm buying a water from like 7-Eleven or whatever, are you saying that I shouldn't get the plastic bottles? I should go, I know there's a couple that have glass bottles that are a lot more expensive, but. Absolutely. That's why it's worth Absolutely. it though, right? It's totally worth it. Especially if you have plastic bottles in heat, then it really goes in there. And the second tip that I wanted to share is if you, you're stuck and you have to buy a plastic water, water bottle, buy one that's harder plastic, not the soft bottles. Crinkly one. 
Then, yeah, the crinkly ones have extra uh, softeners, which is another toxic chemical. And so you're lightening your load a little bit by having a harder plastic, but the best is to switch to glass. And then also, what are people cooking with? If they're cooking with pans that have Teflon on them or aluminum pans, those are toxic and those, are go those toxins are going into the food. So everybody should be cooking with stainless steel or glass. So I know, much I stuff. I'm just looking at my producer. I'm like, can you believe all this? I'm also a shopping consultant. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's great to know. It's great information. People are, are taught making their livers toxic and they don't even realize it. And then also, what are they storing their food in? So they should have all glass containers to store their food in in the refrigerator. Or how about buying leftovers? Do you get leftovers at a restaurant? Of course. Yeah. Those the containers. The minute you get home, you should switch those out into glass. glass and put them in the refrigerator. So I have a rule, anything that touches my food has to be glass. Yeah, I don't use plastic, you know, so that's oh. the rule. It's another great also, one, yeah. People have gardens or lawns. What are they spraying their lawn with for pest control? Those are very toxic toxins, really bad. And the pesticides and herbicides, uh, most of them like, for example, I don't know if I'm allowed to use the word, but um, it, it's a yeah. pesticide that's very, can I? Okay, Roundup. Roundup is really bad for you. Okay. Really bad for the liver. So don't use Roundup on your lawns and gardens. And also for golfers out there, if you're golfing, you're golfing on Roundup. So don't touch your shoes at the end of the day and don't wear your shoes into the house and then run around barefoot. You're getting it on the floor. So see where I'm going with this? It, yeah. It, so also, if you're living in an apartment, condo, or home, what is the paint and what are the dyes that are in your home? Because paint has off-gassing, and you want to get VOC-free paint. And special contractors specialize in that, so that's what you want to do if you're repainting your condo, home, or, or apartment. Get a VOC-free paint. And look for a contractor that does that. So they're into using products. Also carpeting in your apartment, condo, or home. Make sure that doesn't have flame retardants in it because those are very toxic to the lungs and to the um, liver. So make sure you get carpeting. You can you know, go for carpeting that are safer and don't have the flame retardants. And also bedding, what people are sleeping eight hours a day, a night, what are they sleeping on? What are those sheets? Are they polyester or are they pure organic cotton? Because those are touching your skin and it's going into your skin all night long. Also, what are people washing their clothes with? They're washing, most people use toxic laundry detergents. And think about it, every day you're wearing clothes and those toxic laundry um, contaminants are going into your skin when you're wearing your clothes. So you want to use an organic, uh, organic detergent that doesn't have fragrance in it no fragrances that's fragrance. what i was going to ask you about like you know like i wear like cologne or aftershave after shave something like that yeah. i bet you're going to tell me i got to look for stuff in there too absolutely really bad anytime it says fragrance on any product whether it's a cleaner or a skincare hair care product or cologne don't buy it do not buy it. It's a toxic chemical to the liver. So I've actually just recently started making um, homemade um, essential oil cologne for my husband. He loves it. He gets compliments from all his clients, friends, etc. So I mean, it could be a business, but I'm very interested in coaching. But and I've asked at health fairs. I've been asked, "Oh, what are you wearing?" By men and women, and I said, "Oh, it's my own. You know, it's essential oil." So that's wow. what people thousands of years back to the time of Cleopatra. She didn't use toxic chemicals to smell good. She used, you know, herbal essences from natural flowers. So I'm all about natural. So yeah. basically my rules are, what are you putting on your skin? What are you put breathing in your air? What are you putting in inside your body with food? And just avoid chemicals. If you really look, you can find them everywhere. And then you just avoid them and use organic everything. And you feel so much better. Wow. Um, mold is, sorry. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Mold is really big too. A lot of people have been exposed to mold in buildings, maybe in college, a college dorm. It could be at your first apartment. It wasn't in that great a neighborhood, at least for me, it wasn't. And so mold is everywhere. And with flooding that's taken place in this country the past few years, flooding is everywhere. So 
you really want to protect yourself from mold. And you can actually have a mold test get done. And I've actually had it done. I grew up in a very moldy home. We had flooding in the basement every single year. And, you know, we didn't, they didn't take care of it. So I actually have mold toxicity in my body and I'm working on getting rid of it. But you can take a myco test, it's called. It's a toxin test. And really, almost everyone should get it if they've ever lived in an apartment, condo, or home that has mold or been exposed to mold. It's called mycotoxin, and it's a simple urine test that anybody can do. Okay, and, and uh, is it true what they say that the, usually the black mold, that one's real dangerous? The black mold is very dangerous, but there are other molds, too. There are other varieties that aren't black that you can't see that are just as bad. Wow. So think you're fine just because you have you know don't have black in your right own. right <laughs> uh, it's incredible <laughs> yeah no it's, it's, it's i could you know so much research that you've done to go into this is so great for us so thank you for this um can you can you talk about um ozone yes yeah, so i i always believe in in purifying your air because you have to breathe everyone has to breathe right so yeah. that's one and all, all toxins that you're breathing in are going to your liver. They're going to your lungs, but they're also going to your liver to be processed. And in the air quality right now, it's horrible. I mean, there's all kinds of toxins, heavy metals, pesticides. There's all kinds of toxins from, from manufacturing, from plastics, et cetera. So you, you want to breathe clean air. So getting an ozone filter is one of the best things you can do. Why? Because it kills mold which is very toxic it yeah. kills it kills all, all kinds of bad bacteria and it kills viruses too so most people um i recommend get it installed and i did this in my home right inside the vent the ductwork of the air conditioning unit so every time the ac goes on it's being purified with ozone what is ozone it's oxygen and oxygen kills bad germs and it's actually good for your lungs. It's good for your, your liver. So you're not creating a toxic environment. So I bought a portable one too. You can get them right on Amazon and you can get them online at several different stores. And it's a portable ozone uh, air purifier. And I travel with it everywhere I go. And that way I know in front of me, at least one foot away from me, I'm breathing pure air no matter where I go. Right. So that I highly recommend everybody get an ozone air purifier. And they're, they're cheap. They're not that expensive. I don't know, $59, $69, $79. But you have it forever. So, And you know that we're, if you're at your office, if you're with a client, if you're at home, no matter where you are, if you're in your car or if you're in a rental car, then you have pure air. Okay. Yeah. And I think that that's a point that, that should be uh, taken very seriously because I'm speaking with someone who uh, claims to be a uh, a mold meter because you know so much about it. <laughs> yeah, my husband calls <laughs> It's so funny because I'm very allergic to mold. So I have to be very careful what hotels I stay at because if I stay at an old hotel, oh, that's not going to be good for me. I oh, no. <laughs> up and I can't breathe. So I have to investigate before I stay at a hotel. Okay, when was it built? How old is it? And then if they say they've remodeled, well, whoop de do. Did you remodel the air conditioning ductwork? That's what I want to know. So the managers always love me when I ask all these questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I've literally stayed at um, hotels, even very high-end hotels, and I won't say the name in Vegas, very high-end. And they were spraying toxic fragrances through the air conditioning unit and it was a big convention for my husband i couldn't breathe i said and so i talked to the manager i said i don't know what you're putting in the air conditioning unit and he said oh it's a fragrance i said yeah i know but it's extremely toxic it wasn't just me a lot of people were having asthma and, and allergy issues and we he, the manager wouldn't shut it off because that was his policy i'm like okay fine we all moved to another hotel yeah. it didn't happen you know so i but i can test from i know mold immediately or a restaurant I always try to go to a restaurant that is outdoor dining or indoor outdoor or a restaurant that has lots of windows so they can get fresh air coming in because then the mold is going to be less. So, wow, wow. that's great inf information. Now, I, I want to get into your, your liver detox program and how it relates to 
gut health. But uh, is there anything else that you want to say about the things that we should avoid, things that are out there before I get into that? One thing I wanted to ask you about that was uh, was tattoos. Are tattoos bad too? Yes. Well, you know, I mean, I don't want to get into a political situation, but tattoos do have a permanent, the ink is permanent and they have to have something to make the ink permanent. So it's usually a toxic um, heavy metal that makes it. So, I see. I see. so that's, so that's what makes it toxic. So it's to any to every he any heavy metal is going to the liver. So you know it's it's creating toxicity for the liver. Okay. All right. So 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 we talk a little bit more about the the liver detox program and and gut health now. Is that is it, oh, would sure. that be okay? Please. Oh, sure. uh, let me. Uh, let, I'm I'm all ears here. Well, oh, one more thing before we switch topics is sure. the uh, to air quality. If somebody's riding in an Uber or a taxi and they have those air fresheners in the front hanging in the front window. Yeah. Those are really toxic, really toxic. I got more of those. Don't. So throw those away. I'm educating one by one, every single taxi driver and every single, you know, Uber driver that I encounter, I always educate them and they wind up throwing it right out right away. I said, you know, get some essential oils like lemon, put it right on the air conditioning, and then you're you're having pure essential oil of lemon, which is purifying to the air, it clears out from mold, you know, and also any other har harmful substances. And it smells good. Yeah. That's why lemon oil is in all cleaners. That's the reason. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay, so so let's let's learn some more about your liver detox program as it affects the gut, because I'm sure it affects almost 100% of people. Exactly. So, so many people have a leaky gut right now or, or gut issues. And the reason is because our, our environment is polluted and they're eat, not eating the right foods and they're not eating enough organic vegetables to feed the good bacteria in the GI tract, or they're taking too many antibiotics all the time. You know, there's a variety of reasons why we, people can have leaky gut, mm -hmm. but really affects liver detox because think about it the liver is the processing plant for all the toxins and then it's transforming them into a less toxic form and then it's sending them down through bile down to the small intestine and large intestine and to exit the body but if the gut doesn't have integrity and it has leaky so in other words the walls are not uh, tight and they're loose so there's holes in the walls then toxins can go out from the gut wall and go out into the bloodstream and be floating around in our body. So the liver did all this hard work to get rid of the toxins, but then they're just circling all around back in the body again. So that's why it, it's, it, it's really important to have good gut integrity. And that's why I include help healing from leaky gut in my liver detox program. Nice. and. Uh... And is the liver, it's, it does so many things as we're learning here, but is the liver uh, related to how about inflammation in our, in our bodies? Like even the, how about our muscles? Yes, it does. It's incredible. So a red flag, if people wake up and they, they wake up first thing in the morning and their muscles are really stiff, that's a red flag that the liver is under a little bit of stress. And that they should probably do a liver detox. Yep. So unless they did like a marathon the previous day or something like that, obviously there are exceptions. But in general, inflammation all over the body is a red flag that the liver is being taxed. Because what causes inflammation anywhere in the body? What causes it? Toxins. Toxins. Mm -hmm. Inflammation. The body's fighting that toxin, saying, "Get out! Get out! You don't belong here!" And it causes inflammation. So that's a part of our immune system is the immune response is, is inflammation, but we don't, you know, you don't want that. You want to get rid of all the toxins so you don't have the inflammation, but it does include in the joints. Absolutely. The liver affects, you know, all the organs in the body. So it affects the brain, the gut, uh, the gallbladder, the thyroid, but it also impacts muscles, tendons, and ligaments. So I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah, so all those people working out all the time at the gym and they're working out really hard and they're eating clean. They used to be a junk food junkie, but now they're eating clean and they're still not losing weight and they have sore muscles all the time and, they, and they're tired and they can't figure out why they're not losing weight, even though they're doing all those exercises. 
classes, that's the reason, their liver. They need to clean out the liver. So it's important for muscles. I've run into people that, you know, as clients that have, they're so swollen everywhere. They have total inflammation in their ankles, their knees, their hips, their back, their face, their neck. I mean, they have inflammation everywhere. That's a red flag of liver, that they're very toxic and they need to detoxify. Uh, so, so athletes, this is a great program for athletes too. Absolutely. Absolutely. You want to have a great functioning liver. Because remember, mm -hmm. liver is also to, to healthy blood. And mm -hmm. you want healthy blood pumping in your veins to, uh, to go to all your muscles, ligaments, tendons, to everything. Totally. And also, and also heart. You don't want to have a high heartbeat. You're working out like crazy on the treadmill. And the blood coming to the heart is, is, is uh, full of toxins. That's not good. So Gotcha. Heart attacks, you know, they're running a marathon, they've been healthy their whole life, and all of a sudden, boom, they die of a heart attack. It could be the liver. Yeah. Not always, it could be the liver. Gotcha. Nancy, let's, uh, let's, we, we should do a part two on this because we're out of time here. But um, if you can, um, let me give you the last word. Anything you want the audience to know? Great information and uh, so many things that you said that uh, I'm going to be thinking about. <laughs> Well, I always say that, uh, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So when I do work with my liver detox clients, I always start where they're starting. You know, if they're overwhelmed because they have so, they have so many toxins in their environment, I always say I start out with three things. You're going to do three things this week that will change your life. And I always start out with water, air, and then organic food. And then I work with the other things, the sheets, the lifestyle, the cleaners, everything. But one by one. Each week, they make one change. And so when they run out of soap powder, they get a, a clean organic one. When they run out of the toxic toothpaste, they get an organic one. So that's what I do. Gotcha. And then they get so overwhelmed. I mean, mm. I've had clients that are very healthy. They're already living a healthy lifestyle. and They're already off the junk food. And they want to go the extra steps for the lifestyle issues. You okay. know? Awesome. And Nancy, just and real fast, just tell us how to get a hold of you because we're uh, about to... Uh, that's a, to, uh, we're way past time. So where do we get a hold of you? Sure, it's 508-527-4149. Give me a call again. That's 508-527-4149. Or check out my website at healthandweightlosscoach.com. That's healthandweightlosscoach.com. Awesome. Nancy Javaris, great information. We'll see you next week. Let's go to part two. All right. Thank you so much. Right back. Thank you. Are you looking for even more of the podcast and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you can now listen live on the MyTuner Radio and online Radio Box apps for iOS, Android, and the Amazon App Store. Or check us out online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on OnlineRadioBox.com slash US so you don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.